Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this video, I will show you how to remove dark circles and bags in Photoshop using solid color technique. Let's dive in and explore the steps involved in achieving a flawless and natural looking result. To begin, open the photo you want to work with. Once opened, add a new layer by clicking this plus icon to ensure non-destructive editing. Select the brush tool and choose a soft round brush. Now hold the Alt or Option key. Your cursor will transform into a color picker. We are going to use it to select a color that closely matches the area you want to fix. You will notice a change in the foreground color. Now wherever you paint with this color, it will be added to the image. Before you start painting, adjust the brush size to ensure it's soft and large enough to cover the targeted area effectively. Slowly paint over the dark circles. Let me undo this. I want to lower the brush opacity and flow. Anywhere around 50% is okay. The trick here is it's essential not to lift your mouse or stylus until you have covered the entire under eye area you want to retouch. By maintaining contact with the brush, the sample color applies consistently resulting in a smooth transition. Only lift the brush once you have completed the retouching process. Once you are done painting, double click on the layer to open the blending options. Keep an eye on the preview while you proceed. Now go to underlying layer, hold the Alt or Option key and move the half of the triangle towards the right side to blend it with the original image. If the effect appears too intense, don't worry, you can always adjust the opacity to your liking, making it look more natural. For now, I keep it at 100% and we can change it later for optimal results. Now let's focus on removing bags or wrinkles under the eye. To do this, add another new layer, select the healing brush tool from the toolbar and ensure that the sample all layers option is checked. With the new layer ready, it's time to retouch the under eye areas. The key to achieving great results is to sample the texture of the nearby area under the eyes. Press and hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and click on an area just below the eye bag you wish to remove. This action samples the texture and color from that area. Similar to the previous step, Keep painting without lifting your mouse or stylus until you have covered the entire under eye area you want to retouch. By maintaining contact, Photoshop analyzes the sampled area and applies it consistently which results in a seamless blend. Only lift the brush once you have completed the retouching process. Take a moment to decrease the opacity of the retouched layer if you feel it needs to appear more natural. These adjustments allows you to fine tune the retouching to your preference, blending it seamlessly with the rest of the image. Now I want to make the eyes pop to reduce the fatigue or tiredness. To achieve this, add a curves adjustment layer and create an S-shaped curve. Invert the layer mask by clicking Ctrl or Command plus I. Grab a brush and paint on the iris and eyebrows to make them stand out. Looking good? Now let's lower the intensity of the color a bit. Double click on the layer icon to open the blending options. Adjust the right slider to your preference, keeping in mind that excessive editing can make the image appear artificial. Find the right balance that makes the enhancement look natural and pleasing to the eye. Once you are satisfied with the adjustments, click OK to apply the changes. That's it, here is before and after. This technique is particularly useful for those who have limited time and seek efficient ways to enhance their portraits. By following these instructions, you will be able to achieve professional quality results without the need for extensive editing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more Photoshop tips, tricks and techniques, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell to get notifications from my channel. 
please consider to become channel member for direct downloads and also support me on patreon and that's it for this video guys see you in my next video take care happy editing